I'm at the Techonomy Conference, and I'm talking with Chris Griffin from Bettable. Um, Bettable is a really interesting startup in the gambling space, unlike, I think, anything else, at least you would, uh, you would argue, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about what Bettable does. Sure. So, at, at a high level, uh, Bettable is the only platform that allows any developer to legally offer real money gambling and betting in their games and apps mm -hmm. without the need for getting their own license. So, I'm a game developer, I want to do a gambling game. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe it's a straightforward gambling game or some other game that has a gambling element in it. Mm -hmm. You supply me. You do a lot of the hard stuff for the game, for we the do. gaming part. We do. We do the ugly stuff, as we say at the, at the office. So, and so what is the ugly stuff? So the ugly stuff is. Uh, I think a good way of thinking of it is is probably using a, a physical slot machine as an mm -hmm. analogy. So, the developer would be building the casing of the machine, which is the front end of the game, mm -hmm. um, and they would configure all of their custom gambling logic on our platform and then plug their, uh, their front end into um, our API. And you could kind of think of what we do as the engine inside of that physical slot mm -hmm. machine. So, so. So, if I'm, so I write a game, mm -hmm. and the game has particular rules that determine mm -hmm. uh, I mean the, the natural rules of the game, but in particular the rules of what pays off, what doesn't pay mm -hmm. off, um, however the game might work. Right. So you take those rules and, and we you power it. And you power it. Mm -hmm. We power it. Is that what makes that more difficult to do than, say, I'm just writing a game, you know, write some app? What's difficult to do is to provide the developers with the tools to be able to build their own custom games mm -hmm. um, and to be able to really generalize the underlying math models of all the gambling mechanics mm -hmm. so that they are abstractable and that they can be applied to not only traditional gambling games, mm -hmm. but to you know, new types of gambling games or real money play that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, say, an example where you might be doing a game that is not a traditional gambling game. Mm -hmm. So you know, you're you're, you're doing. Uh, we'll use Farmville as an example, since it's a game that sure. a lot of people know. Mm -hmm. um, Farmville is not a gambling game, mm -hmm. uh, at least the way it's now constructed. Mm -hmm. um, but you could imagine, say, let's uh, some adding some gambling elements. Mm -hmm. I bet that I can grow more corn than you can. We right? could certainly um, do it that way. I think another interesting thing is, uh, if you look at Farmville, the underlying mechanics of that game, mm -hmm. it it really is kind of a giant slot machine um, with a whole bunch of levers all over the place. So mm -hmm. every time someone is harvesting their crop, you could kind of think of that as pulling a lever of a slot machine. Mm -hmm. And right now, because it's not enabled for real money, it's just paying you out virtual currency. Right. Um, if they wanted to turn that into a real money experience, you know, they could sell um, a money tree that you pay some real money for. It's like putting money into the machine. Right. And then when you harvest it, you're pulling the lever of that machine. And that crop yields real money sometimes when you win in mm -hmm. virtual currency or nothing at all when you lose. Mm -hmm. So. One thing that, of course, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking is, hmm, you're, you know, the company's basically you, your office is in San Francisco, mm -hmm. but you've got uh, you've got people also in in, in London. In London. Mm -hmm. If I'm a U.S. gamer, I'm not gonna. This is not gonna appear on my screen anytime soon. That's right. As a player, uh, you can't play any of these games for real money if you're in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Um, as a developer, though, uh, remember you're just building the casing of the machine, and all that's doing is telling you, telling the players what the results are of the bets. Right. Um, that's not gambling by any stretch of the imagination. So, as a developer, you can be anywhere in the world to build right. on our platform. Right. But so the the opportunity here is really outside the U.S. Right. Correct. So Europe, Asia, uh, Europe, Asia, um, Canada, um, Australia, etc. How so. big a market do you think you have the chance to address? I think it's enormous. Uh, I think it's, in terms of number of players, I think it's an order of magnitude bigger than the existing online gambling market. An and order of magnitude bigger? Yeah, I do. Because? Uh, because we're going after an audience that, that that's already playing social games and mobile mm -hmm. games that today is an order of magnitude bigger. Um, and, and I think that if, we're, if we look at kind of the, the conversion rates and the early data that we're seeing right now from some of our live partners, um, when you extrapolate that out, um, it, it certainly does look like um, that's a very real possibility. So are you, do you have games in the market now that are powered by Bettable's engine? We do. Engine? Uh, we just announced um, our, one of our first games to go live from a very major partner, Big Fish uh, Casino. They're mm -hmm. the number one app on the iOS App Store in the mm -hmm. UK. And uh, they just went live a few weeks ago, and the numbers are outstanding. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about the company. Sure. At the moment, you have you're still pretty small. How many people do you have? We're 18 people right now. And I presume you can't really talk about the 
size of the business in terms of dollars. Can't talk just about yet. that right now. Right. And funded? Yes. We're, we're the second company in the last 12 years that does real money gambling that's been funded by Silicon Valley VCs. Mm -hmm. um, the, the previous company was Betfair, which was almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the partners that we have uh, from the financing perspective are, are really the top VCs in the world. So we're, we're very excited to have them on board. So how much have you raised today? Um, we've raised uh, a, a very big seed round. It's one of the largest in the last several years. Mm -hmm. And more to come. More to come. Uh, let me just touch on one other thing that I think is interesting about the company. So, when I think about developing gaming games, uh, gambling games, no matter what the jurisdiction is, there's some licensing involved. Mm -hmm. But part of what you're doing, what, part of what you're providing, is the lo the underlying licensing is attached to the engine Correct. that you're providing to people. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm a gamer, if I'm a gaming developer, mm -hmm. and I want to say offer a gambling game in the UK. I don't need to go out and get licensed myself. I can basically you piggyback on your your licenses. Yeah, except you're not you're not really piggybacking on it. So the the you're just you're just not doing anything that's that has to do with gambling. We do all of the gambling. It's all sort in the of background. walled off. Exactly. Right. So yeah. I'm not. I so my part of the game, my part of the development doesn't involve. Um, the elements of randomness, or the gaming no. logic, or the underlying mechanics right. of the, you're, the you're gambling aspect of the game. You're telling us how you want us to configure the rules, mm -hmm. or you're really configuring kind of the, the, the gambling logic on our right. platform. We're powering that for you, and the thing that you're really responsible for is kind of that initial setup of what what you're telling us to power, mm -hmm. um, and you're responsible for that front end layer of the game, which is acquiring the players. Mm -hmm. So you're responsible for the experience and we're powering it all. And then the other thing is, in terms of the way that the cash actually flows, mm -hmm. so if I'm playing that game mm -hmm. and I, uh, I set up an account, mm -hmm. um, you know, I set up a $100 account to play a game on, online, it, uh, is that is that cash managed by the software partner or by you and your engine? It's managed by us. Um, so again, if we talk about kind of that analogy of the slot machine, if I'm a player and I pull the lever of your, your slot machine, then presumably I would have an account with Bettable, um, which is holding all of my money, right. and that front end of the machine would send a, a request to Bettable and say, Eric just bet $2, did he win or lose? Bettable would determine whether or not you won or lost, move all the money around, and then send the results back to the front end of that slot machine to show you whether or not you won or lost. Great. And other players in this market? Not right now. You're all alone. We're all alone. It's it's, it's actually uh, one of the only times that it's probably good to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for Thank talking you. to Forrest. I appreciate it. Great.